Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Gunsmith. Department of Chemical Manufacturing. That's right. Last episode, we got our chemicals production license. Very nice. Uh, in accordance with the regulations and provisions issued and maintained by the Department of Chemical Manufacturing, your application, detailed in this document, is approved. Below, you will find an extensive list of what this license and permit has granted. Extensive list. Uh, we may... We wish you the best of luck in your new venture. You are hereby granted the rights for chemical dispensers, chemical mixers, and chemical dryers. Okay. I have no idea what that stuff does. So, this is going to be a learning experience. And I hope you're okay with me playing a game that I'm not 100% knowledgeable about. As far as chemicals go. But once we start laying down the machines, it might be a little bit different, right? We're still only receiving orders for clothing. So I'm just gonna, I'm still gonna keep accepting orders for clothing and de denying the other countries. At least for a little while, we're gonna deny the other countries. Uh, and eventually, once we have great reputation, like right now it's 190, so it's almost to bullets. Um, but once we start getting higher reputation, then we can, you know, start maybe dealing under the table to other countries if we want to. All right, so we're, we have 94,000, okay? 94,000 bucks. Let's get research. Let's start researching things that'll save us money. We'll get our maintenance cost. I kind of want to blitz this. Um, it'd be really nice if we could queue up research. I, 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 see, I feel like I'm saying that a lot lately, but I would really like to do that. I would really like to be able to queue up the research. Uh, this is all unlocked now. So we can't do this until we have the 200 reputation, which look at this, we're very close to being able to do that. But let's invest, investigate some of the chemical stuff. Chemicals dispenser, chemicals mixer, and a chemicals dryer. If I take a look at the cookbook, we can see that nitro... Uh, oh, hang on. Uh, not reset. Hold on. That's interesting. There's no back. Nitrocellulose and gun cotton S is unlocked for us, as well as the raw materials for cellulose and nitric acid, nitric acid S. So gun cotton and nitrocellulose. I'm not sure what these are, uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. If we want to make nitrocellulose S, we need to combine cellulose S and nitric acid S. We simply combine these two in a chemicals mixer, and it makes a bunch of nitrocellulose S. Okay, sounds good, I guess. I'm not sure what that's going to do for us. I also feel like it's probably going to be very expensive. It's $2,500 for each of these machines, and it's also 20 power for each of these machines. 24 for this, so it's very expensive. But if I'm going to do this, we can just stick this over here. Let's stick this here. That's a chemical dispenser and a uh, chemical dispenser and a chemicals mixer, which goes here, I guess. That's kind of cool. Uh, and we're going to need a, uh, I, I'm pretty sure anyway, we're going to need a splitter of some kind here. So, like, are we going to end up having one over the other? It doesn't. I don't, I don't No, we don't need a splitter. They all go in one belt, one belt, right? That's how that works. So we're just going to do this right here, some chemical stuff. Um, we're going to have you output the nitric acid. We'll have you output the cellulose S, which I don't think we have any supply of. So we're probably going to have to buy that as a raw material. We're going to produce this. It takes three seconds to output, six seconds to craft. We're also going to want belts. Do I have any spare belts laying around? I don't see any belts. I don't see any belts. Also, let's take a look at resources. If we're overproducing something, I want to know now. Combat backpacks. We have a ton of them. Look at that. Um, because we're actually not selling them very often. They're not being ordered very often. Um, like I was kind of hoping they would be. And I started seeing them. And I thought maybe people would order them. But we're not actually seeing orders for them. I mean, I guess China wants them. We can sell them to China. If, if China and Russia want our backpacks, I'm going to sell them to them. Because, I mean, yeah. I got to get rid of the supply, right? So we'll sell the gloves and the vest and also scroll down until we find any backpack order right here. China's backpack order. Why can't I fulfill that? I thought I had them. 260. Did I already sell them? I have 700 and I have 720 combat backpacks, but they're not, they're not boxed. They're not boxed. Why are they not boxed? Hold on. Wait. Am I messing this up? They need sewn twice. The combat backpacks. They need sewn twice. 
Oh dear lord, put them over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, I bet I'm gonna have comments for that. Oh, I bet I'm gonna have people commenting about that. Uh, it's gonna suck. Oh, I'm gonna have to read the comments. Uh, sewn once, sewn twice. Get it on the belt, and now this belt is really crowded now, man. I'm worried about the belt. Yeah, we're gonna get spillage here pretty quick. There's too many products on this belt. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Breathe. It's gonna be fine. We'll we'll figure it out, right? We'll just have to. We'll figure it out. Combat backpacks are just gonna come off the line. And eventually. And eventually, they, now that they get sewn, <laughs> that's the sewing. Okay, so that's that's good. Now we've got them. Uh, now we've got them. Wow, I feel terrible. I feel... I feel silly. Oh, so silly. Let's take this over here, and we'll just go like that. And we'll go like that. And we'll go like that and push this up against it there. Okay, do we need to buy the nitric acid essence stuff? I imagine we probably do. Take a look at market, and we do. We need to buy the supply for this. Okay, so here's what I wanna do, right? Automation rules. We wanna buy cellulose S in quantities of 200 when the item quantity we have is less than or equal to, let's say 40 and the price is less than or equal to four okay so i should see that happening now we want to do the same thing with the nitric acid s 200 supply order this when our supply falls below 40 and when the price of the product falls below four okay double checking yeah item price good okay so now i should see orders happening and indeed it does so now all we need to do is see about getting this uh stuff working here see about getting the nitric acid stuff made now we've got a couple of control stations here this station's actually controlling all of this stuff too we only have two spare here and one spare here so i'm gonna have the chemicals mixer added to this and we're gonna have these two machines added and now i think all i want to do is just turn them on and see what happens Oh, hang on. We can't do that because we don't have power. Right. Uh, so, 20 power for this one. 20 power, 20 power, and so we need 60 power. Yeah, well, we're going to drop another one of these then. I mean, if I can find a way to shave 20 power somewhere, that'd be nice. But am I getting spillage? I am getting spillage. Oh, uh, I don't like spillage. Hang on. Let's try this. There's a creative idea. <laughs> Maybe that will stop the spillage. <laughs> we'll just leave that there. Uh, I'm going to get another power. It's fine. One more power here. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use these chemicals for at the moment. But the idea is, hopefully, that we can build up a stock of the chemicals. That's what I'm hoping to do. If we can build up a stock of these chemicals... Uh oh It's going to... Shit. No! Uh oh go there we go if we can build up a stock of the chemicals then when it comes time to make ammunition and stuff i'm, I'm kind of hoping we have this right you do not have a license license name to produce this item yes i do i absolutely do you do not have a license license name to produce this item uh i most certainly do thanks that's why it's letting me do it <laughs> uh it's okay i do you can see it uh i have three more Three more reputation before I can start making ammunition and stuff. And then I think that's when the real money starts coming in, right? What's happening here? We get a bit of a bottleneck here, don't we? Uh, I can fix that. I can just go like this. And go like this. Hang on. Get rid of the spillage. And go like this. Turn on. Turn on. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like that. A lot more smooth. Okay. So, we're building up chemicals. That's good. It's costing us a lot of money. 
So I'm kind of hoping like it becomes profitable. <laughs> We're at 92 grand. Can I get to 100 grand? Come on, give me to 100 grand. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. $100,000. Cool. I feel like I'm a successful person now, you know? Doing all that feels very successful. And our reputation is 204 now. So let's start the research for bullets. I like it. Now I have no idea about bullets. Like, I have no idea. I'm probably going to have to, like, double, potentially triple the production on this stuff. These output at four seconds. So this is, uh, well, let's see. There's a nine second split here. So we are building up a supply on this. If we had two of these, we could split them, actually. Put a two-way splitter and then put two of these machines on the sides. But I don't know if that's really necessary. What I think I'd rather do... Hmm. Well, I mean, that would work because these are building up a supply, yeah. So a two-way splitter here and then I would need another... I need one of these control stations to control it. It would be this one. This one could control the splitter. I like it. You know what? Let's do let's do that. Let's shut this uh let's sorry, shut the dispensers down. And as soon as the last bit of chemicals is in here and it pops out, we will we will move the machine as soon as it pops out. We don't need it to pop out like that. Let's just close it. Slide this forward. We're gonna put a splitter here. It will split it into two machines. Which, again, I don't know if we're going to really need this many chemicals. I probably should wait to see if we need this many chemicals beforehand. But if we do need these for bullets productions and stuff, then, like, I'm going to want to make sure I have a whole bunch of them. You know? So let's get another chemicals mixer. We'll go, uh, we'll go here with it. And all we want to do is kind of the same thing we did over here before. We want to go like this. Actually, we're going to need... We're going to need the long belts here. So go long belt there. Long belt there. Short belt here. Short belt here. Yep. And then butt this up against that. Yep. And butt you up against this. And then we put the here. And put the recycle bin here. Okay. Turn on... I want you to control the splitter. We need one more station to give me some of its its available space. 16 out of 16, 16 out of 16, jackpot. I need uh, whichever station is not controlled already, which I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, you are controlled there. You are controlling that one. So I need you to control that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn you to this. Turn you to that. Good. Uh, yep. Turn this on. Turn this on. Turn this on. On and on. Now we should be able to create that, that chemical much faster. Because um, because we have to have both of these chemicals mixed together. And I don't think there's a way to... There's a more power power efficient way to do this. It doesn't it takes up more space or does it? It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Shut these down. Let's make this a little bit more efficient cuz this is a little bit kind of nuts. Um What I want to do is if I slam these machines right up next to each other, that's not going to work. We have to have them split apart. Uh, we could probably get away with having them like this, though. Right? No, they have to be... They could be like this. Nah, I don't think we can do that. It's just the way they're shaped. But what I wanted to do for the efficiency sake of it... Well, now, this is a really wide intake, though. I think we actually could get away with it. They're having them right next to each other. I think we could get away with it. If we went... Let's let's try this. I'm gonna... Let's not delete. Let's just move these away. I'm gonna try this. K-1. 
Can I have you go over here? You are going to go this way. You're going to go this way. We're going to have a belt that goes between you two. And we're going to connect you like that. So you're both dispensing now onto this belt. Together as one. Isn't it romantic? Okay. Then we're going to have you go here. And I want to I want to say we could just butt this right up against it, but it doesn't look like it's going to let me. But at, if nothing else, we should be able to get away with having little belts instead of the big ones. Right? If nothing else, I think this will work. Because you can put it like this. Now there's a space between them. Plus, this goes in one side, this goes in the other. Yeah, th so that's, this is way more energy efficient. Because we save... What is it? We're going to save 9 power and $15 in maintenance. That's pretty good. That's a good change. I like that. We get the same results, too. So turn this on, turn this on, turn this on, and then turn the dispensers on. And we should see the same results. Right? Just want to double check and get a visual. Yeah, they come out alternating times, too, which is really nice. So the chemicals go in. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. They... Oh, wait. That's not going to work. No, that's not going to work because one's going to go to one side and one's going to go to the other. They're never going to make anything. Yeah, one's getting way more of one resource than the other one is. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, that's just the way it is, though. That's just the way it is, though. Okay, well, sorry. That was like, I hate the splitter. I hate how it does that. I mean, it makes sense. I just, I just hate how it does it. All right, new plan, I guess. We're just gonna delete all the machines. Look at this. It wasn't even putting them in there. <laughs> it wasn't even making the product. All right, we're just gonna stick you like this then. That's chemical production then, right there. We need to flip you over so that you're not in the way. Department of Firearms, license and permits. Bullet production license in accordance with the regulations and provisions issued and maintained by the Department of Firearms. Your application detailed in this document is approved. Below, you'll find an extensive list, and now it's extensive, uh, of what this license permits has been ha grants you. We wish you the best of luck in your new venture. You hereby granted the rights for 9mm punched, extruded, and formed. Cellulose S, nitrous at nitric acid S, mult, my, uh, sorry, nitrocellulose S, gun cotton S, nine millimeter prime topped and bullets, as well as forty five ACP punched, tr extruded, formed, primed, topped and bullets, uh, as well as uh, twenty two LR punched, extruded, formed, primed, topped and bullets. Uh, we can get five five six punched and all those things. We can get seven six two. We can get fifty cal. We can get uh, metal roll dispensers. Bullet punchers, extruders. Oh man, there's so much, so many things. So many things now. Isn't this wonderful? Let's put you there and turn these machines back on. All right. Well, that whole effort to make more of it, it backfired a lot. We cost us a lot of money. But yeah, that's what we're, we're learning, right? This is the whole process of learning. Uh, we're just going to have this, I guess, save up inputs. I don't, I'm not sure the, the proper mixture and how to get that to be a thing. Maybe the we might find out later on that a three-way with two of these things on each side and having three like four of these and three of these is optimal. I don't know. I don't know what the the optimal configuration is for this. Um, but what I do know is that we can now make uh, bullets. Let me go ahead first and fulfill some orders, so we don't get behind on that, and also don't get full shelves. I want my full. I don't want my shelves to get full. What are we full on? There's a ton of boxes over there. A lot of camel gloves, actually. We might want to think about cooling it on the glove production. Although the orders that we do have for gloves are actually quite a few gloves, right? They're actually a lot, the orders that we do have. So we could also think about just fulfilling the orders that are straight gloves and that's it. Because if there's any orders like that, we could just fill them. Because having a lot of gloves, I mean, when they do order them, they order a lot. So. 
Like, every order is like 500, 4, 440. So, yeah, okay. All right, we have 101 grand. Let's take a look at the cookbook. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Intermediate items. Yeah. 9 millimeter bullets. What are we going to have for orders? Like, who's ordering what, you know? Uh, these guys want 556. Five, $21,000. The question I really have, though, is... Is it dramatically different machines to make these different things? We're gonna, like, run every bullet through a bullet puncher, right? I mean, is that... Is there a special bullet puncher for each one? So, what I'm gonna do, I guess, is go to this. We can see the bullet puncher, extruder, uh, bullet capper and four, bullet primer, bullet topper, and a bullet boxer. Uh, box, a boxes bullets in their final case before moving on to the final boxer. Okay, so bullet boxer needs to find its way onto the actual boxer. Most likely, I'm going to have a whole new box. Is this working? I think it's working. We have a little bit of spillage here. We have a couple of things that are spilling. Yeah, we do. Just a few, though. It's not that bad. It's a little bit of spillage. Just a little bit. But this is kind of... This is kind of crazy, though, isn't it? I mean... You got products that are jumping over other products. I don't know about that. Just to help with the spillage a little bit. I'm going to pop another belt right there. Just to, like, keep him in check. You know? It's only costing me two power. We'll see. Um, all right. So all this space is for guns ammunition, right? I got all this space reserved for it, right? Basically, I wanted everything after this, so I have a little bit of space for other things, but I can have chemical stuff happening in the middle, and then all of this other stuff, right? So, let's see. What kind of orders are we getting for, for as far as guns and stuff? Here's some backpack stuff. Yes! Hang on. I want to sell some backpacks. Not to the Russians, though. I don't want to sell to the Russians. Although, what's, what's, the, what's the matter? I mean, we already got the license. What do we need the trust for? <laughs> Might as well just sell it all, you know? We'll let this, we'll let this build up. Because we are building everything all the time, persistently. But I'm not seeing any orders for... I'm not seeing any orders for weapons, like ammunition and stuff. Alright, these guys want 9mm bullets. It's only 2,000 bucks. It's actually a lot of materials... These guys wanting 5.56 five, is pretty cool. I just... I don't have enough time to really... Well, let's, let's see. Let's see. If I'm making... The thing about ammunition is there's so many... Oh, my God. Brass rolls. Oh, man. It's so expensive. Look at this. Buy prices. You know what? Let's buy... Let's buy 10 of these. So, the... Average buy price is 250. The current buy price is 246. I'm gonna buy a hundred of them for now, as a custom buy. We'll see how it goes. So 66,000 is what we have right now. I want to sell. No, I want to sell. Not accept new orders. I want to sell. Completion rate, value, order value. Just pop that. Pop that. Just want to get our shelves cleared off a little bit too. We probably want to have. Like, more shelving space, too. Although, looks like we're pretty empty now. After that initial order, we're pretty empty. So, never mind. This guy doesn't have tools, he says. He's complaining because he doesn't have tools. I have two tool benches, by the way. For the people who said, your maintenance guys need tools. I, I have one there, and uh, I have one there. So, I mean, there's two. The thing is, though, they're not over here. So, if I can give him another tool bench, I probably should. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll give it to him... Um, Kind of right here. It'll be in front of the shelves. So we'll have another shelving unit placed here. Yeah, we'll go like this with it. Another set of shelves. And then we'll do the, the tool rack right up against these shelves like this. Yeah, yeah. So as they're rounding the corner here, like if they're walking through here, as they're rounding the corner, they'll be like, oh, cool tools. And they'll just keep going. Piece of cake. And then, like, the, the maintenance and patrol routes and stuff, they do take them near these machines. It doesn't take them all the way over here, 
But like when they go get the tools, they can stop by and be like, oh, look at that machine. And then they can fix it, you know, whatever. I want to see an, an available order for, for weapons, you know. I want to see people want bullets. It looks like it's just this. I, all right, let's see what it takes to make 556. Five, so if we wanted to make, it doesn't look like we can actually. It doesn't look like we can. Wait, do I need additional research for that? These are all unlocked. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we do. I start the research on uh, 45. Interesting. So nine millimeter is all we can produce right now. Well, let's make nine millimeter then. We'll make uh, nine millimeter bullets. That's the thing. Okay, so we take the roll dispenser, puts it into a bullet puncher, which then feeds it into the extruder. We heat it to one. Then we cool it, which is locked. So we have to unlock that with research. Let's get on that then. Uh, I can't. Why? Oh, because I'm still doing 45. That's fine. Uh, so that's the process, though. We can probably start laying the machines if I didn't mind, like, mm, if I didn't mind spending the money on it this whole time. Service that order. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to let this sit for a bit, guys. Because I don't really want to do the combat boots. I, I think I'm going to stay away from boots like the plague, honestly. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, if it, if it gets to the point where it's like, oh, man, there's some really cool orders and they want boots, then, you know, maybe we'll put the boots in, but... I'm kind of tempted to just stay away from boots altogether. I can't seem to get enough vests made. 108. We're not making enough of these. And I think it's because... Yeah, there's only 12 cam... cam I mean, the camo backpacks are steadily coming out of this machine, right? At the maximum extent in which they're going to come out, they're all coming out of here. Oh, look at this. See, now we're... We're spilling on the other side, too. See? Which isn't great. We don't want to see spillage. Right? I don't know how to fix it, though. How do you fix spillage? We could put the belt along this and then just have it come in. So if anything does go to this side, it eventually works its way back in. See, like, these right here, this belt is keeping them on the belt. Like... This stuff is just, like, supposed to fall, right? But it's not, because that belt is stopping it from doing so. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. But by the time it gets past the sewing machine, then it's definitely going in the boxer. I'm going to leave it the way it is for now, I guess. Okay, you know what? This is a little bit of a shorter episode, but I'm going to go ahead and pause it here. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and take a beat. And kind of figure things out, analyze things. And also, I need to wait for the research to hit for the cooling. Uh, and then the next, when we come back, I'll probably have researched some of the maintenance stuff to, to keep that in check. And then um, we may need more gas, too, if we're going to start heating more things. So I may need to get this research. So come on back for the next one. We'll probably have a whole bunch of money from letting it sit a bit. We are very profitable at this point. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. It means a great deal to me. Give it a like. Uh, you can share the series with your friends if you think you might have somebody you know that might like this. Might like this game. And if you do like this game, you can uh, purchase it in my game store if you'd like to. Link down below. Also, you can just purchase it as a gift if you want to as well. I mean, just give the Steam key. You're getting a Steam key. So you can just give that key to your friend if you want to. It's a good, it's a cool gift. All right. Take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye.